Welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes Book Summary. Today we are going to explore the book, The Checklist Manifesto, by Atul Gawand. He argues that in our increasingly complex and specialized world, checklists can be powerful tools for improving performance and reducing errors. He draws on examples from fields such as aviation, construction, and medicine to show how checklists can help even experts avoid mistakes and achieve better outcomes. The author begins by describing the history and development of checklists, noting that they have been used for centuries in fields such as aviation and construction. However, he argues that checklists are still not widely used in many other fields, including medicine, where they could have a significant impact on patient safety. He then describes a study he conducted with a team of researchers in which they developed a simple checklist to reduce surgical complications. The results of the study were striking, the checklist reduced deaths by 47% and complications by 36%. The author argues that the success of the checklist was due to its ability to make the team more mindful of potential risks and errors. The author then explores the psychology of human error, arguing that the human brain is fallible and prone to making mistakes, even for experts. He argues that checklists can help to overcome cognitive limitations and ensure that critical steps are not overlooked. The author then describes how checklists can be designed and used effectively, emphasizing the importance of keeping them concise and user-friendly. He also notes that checklists can be particularly effective when they are used in teams, promoting communication and collaboration. The author provides several examples of successful checklist implementation, including the use of checklists by pilots and air traffic controllers, which have greatly reduced the risk of air accidents. He also describes the use of checklists in construction and other industries, where they have been used to ensure safety and quality control. He also discusses the potential drawbacks of checklists, including the risk of them becoming bureaucratic and rigid. He notes that checklists should be viewed as a tool to promote mindfulness and flexibility, rather than as a substitute for expertise. Finally, he describes the potential for checklists to be used in a variety of other fields, including education, finance, and government. He argues that checklists can help to ensure that critical steps are not overlooked and that processes are carried out efficiently and effectively. Overall, the Checklist Manifesto provides a compelling argument for the use of checklists as a tool for improving performance and reducing errors. The book is well written and engaging, and the author draws on a wealth of examples to support his arguments. The author makes a persuasive case that checklists can be a powerful tool for improving safety and quality in a variety of fields, and provides practical advice for designing and implementing effective checklists.